Good evening. A man has died after being kept waiting in an ambulance for an hour outside Worcestershire Royal Hospital. It's understood that he had a cardiac arrest and collapsed in the hospital. It happened on Wednesday last week. The Hospital Trust and West Midlands Ambulance Service have sent their condolences to the patient's family and say they're keeping them fully informed as they look into the circumstances surrounding the death. Here's our health correspondent, Michele Padwani. For years, the ambulance service has warned that someone could die because of delays getting patients into hospital. Last Wednesday, a man was left on an ambulance for an hour. The BBC has been told that a nurse decided the patient should be brought in, and as he entered the hospital, he went into cardiac arrest. For Doug Shipsey, whose daughter also died in 2017, in an emergency department then described as overwhelmed, it's frustrating that this can still happen. It's just a third world circumstance. Why are people having to wait all that time to be taken out of an ambulance into an accident and emergency department? And even then, they're not in the A&E, they're in the corridor. You know, it's just disgraceful, absolutely disgraceful. So what's the history of Worcester? In December 2015, it was put into special measures after being rated inadequate. Two years later, the health secretary, Jeremy Hunt, said Worcestershire Royal was the hospital he was most worried about. Just two months later, eight-year-old Callum Cartledge died after being sent home from the hospital. The Trust has been improving. The Care Quality Commission had recommended that this trust be taken out of special measures, but the one area of concern was actually getting patients treated quickly enough in the emergency department. And the Care Quality Commission today said it wasn't aware of this patient death. In October, an ambulance crew waited 11 hours with the patient. The Hospital Trust Board last month accepted that 264 ambulances had taken over an hour to drop off patients. And no one thinks that's right. Anne McKayley joins us now. So McKayley, what have the, both the Hospital Trust and the Ambulance Service had to say about this? Well, it's been quite extraordinary. We've been waiting all day for a statement, but one's just come in in the last half hour, which is a joint statement. And uh, the chief executive of the Worcestershire Acute Trust, Matthew Hopkins, said, we are working with our partners at West Midlands Ambulance Service to look into the circumstances surrounding this case. We have sent our condolences to the patient's family and we are keeping them fully informed. He said, we know that on the night in question, there were a number of ambulances waiting longer than we would want outside the hospital. He said, we are taking positive action to tackle this but we recognise that there is more that we need to do. McKayley, where do we go from here? Because we saw in your report that this hospital and the Trust has had problems stretching back several years now. Yes, well, the, the, the major problem with this hospital is the accident and emergency department is simply too small to do the work. And what they've done is they've tried to concentrate work from Redditch and from Kidderminster into a hospital that isn't designed for it. So this is going to continue until there's some kind of solution to that, either a larger emergency department with more beds or some other configuration to make it actually work. OK, OK, thank you for that. The family of the London Bridge attacker Usman Khan, who grew up in Stoke-on-Trent, have condemned...